Right, so we're looking at test number 30 from the Maths Worded Problems, 10 to 11, CEM, Durham University questions with preparation with 11 plus. Okay, so before we start having annotations. Okay, question number one. Let's have Mr. Number one. Now. Okay, uh, Hamza, do me question number one, please. A set of forty, a set of forty children's books take up thirty centimeters of space on a bookshelf. How wide is each book? Okay, so what do we have to do? So we know that thirty of the books, okay, has a width of, uh, pardon me, not thirty, forty. Forty of the books have a width of thirty centimeters. And we want to work out for each book. So how do we get from 40 down to 1? What do we do? Divide it by 10. Oh, no, divide it by 10. Divide it by 40. Yeah, you divide it by itself. So what you do on the left, you have to do it on the? On the right. On the right-hand side. So 30 divided by 40. So divide that by 10, divide that by 10. That gives you 3 over 4. So what's 3 quarters of a centimeter in decimal? Uh, we there. So you got three quarters of a centimeter. How do you represent that as a decimal? Okay, anybody, please. Zero point seven five. Okay, so that took a long time. I was getting old. I was, I was thinking about getting my pension while you were waiting to give me the answer. Okay, go to question number four. Let's have Mr. Uh, Hamza again, please number four. Read. The beams in a house are arranged to form isosceles triangles as shown below. What is the size of angle X? Okay, so first of all, I want everybody to write in the chat, what is an isosceles triangle? Give me the characteristics of the class. Don't anybody say it out loud orally. I want you to type it up. What does it mean when it says isosceles triangle? Start typing. Okay, Hamza, well done, good, excellent, first answer. Okay, okay, give me some more information, Hamza. You told me one piece of information. Tell me something else that will link with that. Okay, Musa, uh, yet to uh, I don't know, okay. Okay, so, so most of you are getting like one key piece of information, I'm missing out one. And when it says isosceles, it has two main properties. So the, the normal property everybody's saying is 180 degrees is the total, which is true for any triangle. Okay, for now for isosceles triangle, you have two equal angles. I think some of you have mentioned that, two equal angles. And you have two equal sides. Okay, so both those things are important. So back to you, Hamza. So which sides are equal if I was to draw the triangle here, Hamza? Which which bits are equal? The sides are 35 degrees. So this one here, yeah, oops. So the bits are equal at this, uh oh, oh. Every time I try to write, uh oh. Every time I try to write, then it starts moving. Okay, let's get that. So this one, and the, these two are equal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if they're equal, which angle are equal then? 35 degrees. Fantastic. 35, 35. So what's X going to be? Um, 110. B. Fantastic. So the bottom angle gets copied because they're the base angles of an isosceles triangle. They are always equal. And then what we do from that we can work out the missing angle X by minusing the total of the base angles from 180 and jobs done. Fantastic, lovely. Okay, question number six. Let's have Omeza, please. 
This spinner shows the number 1 to 12. What fraction of the sections show a factor of 12? Circle the correct um, answer. So first we have to write down all the factors of 12. What, what does it mean by factors of 12? There are two numbers that times together that equal 12. That's, that's one way of saying it. The word factors means which numbers divide into 12 without leaving a remainder. I think you, you, you're you doing it the other way around. They're, like, they're called, uh, if you have two numbers together, that's normally you call them like factor pairs. So two numbers at time to give you that number. And these, when you're multiplying things together, that's normally multiple part. Factor of 12 is like 12 will you divide by one? Yes, one's the factor. Will 12 divided by two? Yes, it's a factor. Will 12 divided by three? Yes. Will it divide by four? Yes. Will it divide by five? No, divide by six? Yes. And will it divide by itself? Yes. So 12 will divide by all of those numbers. Those are all the factors of 12. And yeah, they do exist in pairs. So you have one uh, and 12. You have two and six and three and four. So you split them in, into the prime factor, uh, actually into pair, in factor pairs. Okay, lovely. So uh, what fraction of the section shows a factor of 12? So you've got to tick them off now. Yes, that's a factor. Yes, yes, uh, yes, no, no, yes, no, 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 yes. So how many yeses do we have? We have six yeses and six no's. So it's six out of? 12. Which is, the answer is not there. So what can we do with six out of 12? We can make it equivalent and um, we get a one half by dividing by six. Oh yeah, so we're simplifying it. Okay, lovely. So six over 12 is simplifying, it becomes a half. Done. Excellent. Okay, I stay there. Do question number seven for me as well, please. Top is Sean. Sean is running laps. Sean is running laps of a rectangular football pitch. The pitch is 75 metres long and 45 metres wide. How far has he run after three laps? So um, let's, quickly, let's quickly draw a sketch first. It's always nice to draw a sketch so we can visualise the question. So it's 75 metres long and 45 metres wide. Whoops, I wrote four. 45 metres wide. So he's doing three laps now. This question has got which topic in it? If we're going around the shape? Um, perimeter. Fantastic. Have we just learned perimeter? Yeah. Yeah, so it should be fresh. We call it taza in your head. Perimeter. So what is the perimeter? If you go around once, what is it? Um, it would be 240 meters. If you add them, um, if you... It's 150 plus 90. So that usually 150 plus 90 is 240? Yeah, 240. 240 meters if you do three, two laps of, that's sorry, one lap, isn't it? So that's the perimeter of the shape if we go around it once. So what do we do with that perimeter? If you want to go around it three times, what do you do? We have to times it by three. Fantastic. So you've got 240 times it by three. That gives you what? 720 meters. So even though they've given you four, Four particular squares, you don't need to only use three. Okay. Uh, next, we have question number eight. Finish eight off for me, please. Sean, go on. Sean always runs complete laps of the pitch. Today, he wants to stop, at, stop as soon as possible, but still run at least 10 kilometers. How many laps in total does Sean need to run? Circle the correct answer. Ooh, lovely, lovely, lovely. So we know that one lap is how many meters? Um, um, 240 meters. Okay, now, and in 10 kilometers, how many meters do we have? Is it 10,000? So what we're what we doing now, we're doing 10,000 that he wants to run, divided by the number of meters per lap. So can you help me with the cancelling, please? First, we cancel the zeros. And then? And then we do 24 divided by um, 10. Should we do, no, you can't do 24 divided by 10 because 10 doesn't go in 24. Should we do 24 divided by two? Yeah. And what's what's uh, 1,000 divided by two? 500. Lovely. Now, can we do any more cancelling? 
Uh, we could divide by two again. Divide by two again, lovely. So 250 divided by six. The answer is 42, which is E. So 250 divided by six. Did you write that out using bus stop? Yeah. So six goes into 10 once remainder. Four. Um, four. Yeah, so for question number eight, we're gonna do definitely 41 full laps and we got a little bit left over. So how many laps will we have to do all together then for Sean? Okay. You'll have to do an extra lap to complete it. So you'd have to round it up to make sure that he's done at least 10 kilometers. Fantastic, lovely. Thank you for that, Meza, excellent. All right, let's have uh, Madam Safa, question number nine, please. I have 21 sheep and 35, 35 white sheep. I want to divide these sheep up into equal, of equal size, but the sheep in each group must be all the same color. What is the largest number of sheep that can be in each group? Okay, so you've got 25, 21 and 35. So we have to think about what is the biggest number we can divide them by? So 21 and 35. What are the what's the what do you call this part? A the highest a common fraction. factor. So what was the biggest number that 21 and 35 will divide by? Seven. Absolutely. 21 divides by seven and 35 divides by seven. That'll give you three. And that'll give you. Five. Five. So that's the biggest group size you can have. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, stay with me. Number uh, number eleven. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, number eleven actually starts up here. By the way. Well, right, let's have a look. Let's have a uh, Mr. Mr. Musa. Please join me in question number eleven. Thank you for that, Safa. Musa, start from the top of the arrows off. The number of cars in a car park. N minutes after open this three and plus four. How many cars will there be in a car park 20 minutes after it opens? Okay, that's not the one we're doing, but use the information on the top to do the bottom one. Okay, it's so the top one, so hopefully it should be easy peasy. What's number 11 then? Read number 11 first. How many minutes does it take before there are more than 80 cars in the car park? Oh. So okay. <laughs> So it's got to be, so the number of cars in the car park is, uh, what is it? How many? How many cars? It's 3N plus 4. Okay, 3N plus 4. So we have here 3N plus 4. And it goes, how many minutes is it before there are more than 80 cars? So that's the sign for more than. Okay, so what do we do now with this type of E? Before, this is called an expression. Now we have like an equation because the inequality is like an equal sign. So how do we work out the n value? That that's what we want to work out. How do we work out the n now from this setup, Musa? Well, since n equals the number of minutes. So we start at n. We have to solve this, make n the subject. We start at n. n has been timed by three. Is called the first action. Adding by adding four is the second action. Which one shall I move first or right? Uh, you should do the second action first. Fantastic. After the add four is? Minus four. So 80 minus four is? 76. Excellent, lovely. And then the opposite of time by three is? Divide by three. Okay, and then N is? So we do 76, we divide it by three. Yeah, so that'll give you two and one. How many things go to 16? Uh, five. Remainder one. Okay, because how many minutes does it take before the, there are more than 80 cars? So we're going to get an answer of 25 and a third. So what's our final answer for number 11 then? It's, it's B. It will have to be? It has to be C. Now we're looking for a whole number of minutes. How many minutes? 
So she has to be more than 25 and a third. So which number is more than 25 and a third? The first number? C. C. I hope you can see the answer is C. So N has to be more than 25 and a third and they want how many minutes as a whole number. The next whole number after 25 and a third is 26. And that's the answer, fantastic. Okay, question number 12. Uh, Mr. Moose, oh, let's have who else? Let's have Amina. Uh, I don't think I've asked to do any questions. Amina, question number 12, please. The bathroom, the bathroom tile below has, has a design co consisting of four identical white triangles. What is the area of the blue part of the tile? Circle the correct answer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so we've got five centimeters. We've got three centimeters. Okay, uh, it says not to scale. What does the word not to scale mean? Um, um, does it mean? <laughs> Do not measure. Yeah, so don't start measuring the diagram. That's what it means. It's, it's basically, it's not drawn to those measurements. It's just labeled those measurements. Okay. The bathroom tile below has a design consist of four identical white triangles. So we need to know uh, what is area of the blue part. I'll take the blue part is going to be the shaded part. Uh, okay, I don't know whether four identical white. Yeah, so the triangle the white, sorry. And the area around is going to be the blue part. So we need to know what the area of the of the square is minus the area of the triangles. So, right, does anybody know how to work out the area of the triangle for number 12? Do you, um, so do you do five times three? Okay, now if you look over here, let's try to work out, we need to do a problem like in, uh, Sherlock Holmes. So if this is five here, and this one is also five here. So what is the measurement of the bottom then? Um, would, would you have to do five times five and then there'll be 25? No, you have to do five, add five. Because this bit here, the base of the triangle is five and this one's also five. So if you put one triangle next to another triangle, it gives you the whole length of the rect of the uh, shape. Okay, the bathroom tile below is a design because of four. It's a square tile. So this is five by five. What's five by five? What is, what's five at five? 10. 10, lovely. So this tile has a length of 10. It has similarly, this part here is five. It's followed by this part here, which is another five. So it is bang on from the diagram at least, because it doesn't mention that it's a square tile. You just said the bathroom tile below has a design. Okay, but we figured it out from the measurements. That's 10, that's 10. So basically the tile is 10 by? 10. So what's the area of the tile then? So we say the area of the blue. So let's do the is equal. Now, which one's blue? Let's get a blue. So the blue part is this part here. Um, so if you want to work out the area of this blue part, it looks quite complicated. What do we need to do? We need to work out the area of what first, Amina? Go. Um, do you have to figure out the area of the um the squares. Beautiful, the square tile, absolutely. So you gotta work out the area of the blue, uh, the big square, and then you minus what area? Um, the area of the triangles. Area of the four triangles, fantastic. That's the idea. The big shape, the square, minus the white bits gives you the blue bits. Okay, fantastic. So what is the area of the square? Is the area of the square 10? Area of the square is 100. 100. Yeah, because it's the length times by the width. So this is your length, and this is your width, is 10 times by 10. Okay, what's the area of the triangle? Do you have to do um, five times five? Does anybody know the formula for the area of a triangle? Yes, of course you can go. Anybody needs to go. It to the bathroom they can. The the wait, wait, I know, I know. Right, one, type it in. 
Type into the chat. Musa, fantastic Musa. Okay, and the rest of you, sleepy people. Whoa, no, I'm gonna. Remember the triangles got measurements of five by three. Okay, uh, at the moment, we have one student awake. Whoa, Dennis has got it as well. Fantastic, Dennis. Come on, the rest of you, wakey, wakey. Safa, where are you gone? What's he here? Yeah. You going to bed? Oh, Safa, come in. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Safa, have you gone to sleep? <laughs> okay. So the area of a triangle is based on by height divided by two. So the base of the triangle is five and the height is three. So it's five times by three divided by two. And then how many triangles do we have? Uh, who's talking? Uh, Armin, how many triangles do we have? Four. There you go. Fantastic. What's 10 times by 10? 100. And what's five times by three? Um, 15. 15 times by four? Is one sixty. Sixty divided by two um, is thirty. So what's a hundred to come on? I mean, you need to be more strong on your mental arithmetic girl. Come on. This is like baby stuff. You should be smashing this up. You know, it's still to be smashing you up. Come on, madam, you can do better. So what's hundred take with thirty quickly? Um my white hairs are popping out of my beard. <laughs> so the answer is um, 17 centimeters square yes 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 I think we're going to have to send some badans down to your house for you for your brain cells so 100 minus 30 is 70 so the answer for question number 12 is E well done Mahir excellent answer Safa, so your answer is beautiful. Apart from that, you done half the question, missed the half out. Well done, excellent doctors in my class. Sorry, doctor. Oi, hoi, role. Okie dokie. Let's stop this video before we crash the internet.